incredible day we had here at the bizspeed.net modified car show at Royal Palm Toyota. We had about 250 cars, all shapes, all sizes. We had the dyno here. This place was absolutely rocking with some of the coolest cars and uh, some of the highest performance vehicles you could possibly find in South Florida. We're going to be exploring this and a lot more, so stay tuned to watch all that and much more coming up on Car Show Television. Tony. What we got here is a 1962 Oldsmobile F85. It's a four-door. It was originally uh, meant to be like a family car. Very sporty because it has an aluminum block V8 engine. Um, these V8 engines were bought by a company today known as Range Rover. They bought the patent on these aluminum block V8s that they still use today. Um, this is pretty much all original. It's been painted once but the same color. It rides real smooth. It steers real smooth. Um, the power is incredible. It's a little hot down here in Florida. This is originally a car from Maine, so it does not come with air conditioning. It has a heater, although we never use it. Um, everything inside the trunk is original. The seats are original. It even has the original uh, ch tire changing instructions on the inside of the trunk lid. She's a sweet little ride. It reminds me of the uh, 65 85, F85 that I had back in high school. I saw the color, it's the same one in the same car. Fell in love with it. So did my girlfriend and uh, we have a lot of fun driving it. Ain't that right? <laughs> Lauderdale and this is my 1933 Chevy Master five window coupe that I'm in the process of refurbishing and uh, building. It's a never-ending project but I love it and uh, we're having a great time doing it. Well I bought it as a frame-off uh, restoration. There was no engine on it. 
It was uh, parts in a box from Texas, and uh, it sat uh, from a man who passed away about 17 years ago. And uh, I bought all the parts and crates and put it all back together about every day this month. Uh, spent about 400 hours so far on it uh, in a month and ready for some sleep. <laughs> it's running good now and I'm loving it. Good time finishing it off. Um, adding a bunch of chrome, changing out some of the old stuff to new and adding un under undercarriage lights. And it's going to be a sweet car when I'm finished. Hi, I'm Scott the Music Man, and welcome back to Car Show Television. We are here today at the Isle Casino, a beautiful, beautiful venue. Check out this awesome racetrack. We've got these classic cars parked on. This is just an absolutely beautiful day here, and we are just having a blast here at the Isle Casino. Hi, I'm Connie with the Idle Casino, Pompano Park. Welcome, everybody. We're very excited today to present to you the Idle Classic Summer Car and Boat Show. My name is Joe Catroni. I'm the president of the Corvette Club of South Florida, based here in uh, Coconut Creek, Florida. Uh, myself, along with my three other founding members, Tony Sadalaro, Howard Goldberg, and Joe Lazaro, formed this club uh, just over a little over two years ago. Our uh, aim and our dedication was to help support a charity of the uh, choice of ours, which is the Joe DiMaggio's Children's Hospital here in Hollywood, Florida. The proceeds from our car show and any other events that we uh, are involved in, uh, those dollars go to the charity, as I say, of Joe DiMaggio's Children's Hospital. We are very fortunate to be sponsored by one of the premier uh, Chevrolet dealers here in South Florida, Lou Baccaro Chevrolet. Uh, we're on the uh, web at www.corvetteclub of South Florida. We are currently over 60 members. Uh, we 
are involved in a lot of social events and car shows, and uh, we just have a great bunch of people. The chemistry with our members is just terrific. If anyone is interested in uh, checking us out, please visit our website and call us and uh, get more information. Uh, we'd love to see you. My name is David D'Onofrio. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And behind me is my Corvette. It's um, number 239 of the first 300 built, built in Flint, Michigan. Um, these 53s were the only Corvettes ever built in Michigan, and after that, the 54s were in St. Louis. This particular car was owned by a family from Massachusetts, and the car was basically in a barn in Massachusetts for 40 years. And uh, I purchased it last October, but I've want, wanted one of these 53s all my life, and uh, it's, it's a great car, I love it. I just completely went through the engine, rebuilt and transmission, because my intention is to keep it forever, but they maintained it very well, and. Uh, I'm very lucky to have it and enjoy being out with the car people. You know, it's they only built 300 and that was 60 years ago, so depends on who you, you talk to. There's probably about 175 left. You know, a lot of them are basket case. Some of them are much more beautiful than mine, uh, but many of them are in pieces and people one day will restore them and there's just not a lot of them out there. I, uh, that was the, uh, the whole mystique behind it. These cars came only one way. They were only white with a red inside. They only had an automatic transmission. They only had a black top. Uh, the engine is a six cylinder. It's 235 cubic inches. It's rated at 150 horsepower. It has three single barrel Carter carburetors. Um, the, uh, this particular car had had very few miles for the last 40 years, but sometimes that isn't great. And there were some items that needed to be done and where my intention was to keep it forever, I basically put it in the mechanic shop and uh, I just got it out of the mechanic shop Friday. It has about 57 miles on the engine and transmission fully rebuilt. Put new tires on it, new top, uh, those sort of things age. And uh, the only options this car was offered with was the heater and the radio. However, Chevrolet would not allow you to omit them, so every car had a heater and a radio. So basically what you're looking at here is exactly the way every 53 looked, with the exception of the first 25 had uh, pie plate hubcaps, because these particular caps were not in manufacturers yet. Coming out next on Car Show Television.
What an incredible day we had here at the bizspeed.net modified car show at Royal Palm Toyota. We had about 250 cars, all shapes, all sizes. We had the dyno here. This place was absolutely rocking with some of the coolest cars and uh, some of the highest performance vehicles you could possibly find in South Florida. Okay, my name is Marcelo Camberos. I am the founder of Bizspeed, where I actually um, we produce motorsports events, and this is one of our events. You are here at Modify at Royal Palm Toyota. They're one of our biggest sponsors. Uh, we probably have an average of about close to 250 cars here today, and uh, we average out about 11 events a, a year. You can find them all on Bizspeed.net, and check out this, the rides, the girls. We're all here having a great time. My name is Ryan Hall from Wellington, Florida, here to celebrate a uh, great car show here at Royal Palm Toyota. This is our second show. First show was in December of uh, 2012. We had a great showing. This one is even better with more than 3,000 people showing and we're having a great time here. Hi, uh, my name is Jose, last name is AYALA from West Palm Beach, Florida. And uh, this is my 1974 Mazda RX-4. Uh, I got it about a year ago. I used to have a 1994 RX-7, and I always wanted the older models. So, And that's how I ended up with this one. And just work on it slowly. But, you know, restoration has been slow, but it's getting up there. So. It's got a rotary engine. It's uh, actually an 84 engine, which is a little bit more reliable than the older ones. It's got uh, a 1992 transmission on it. I'm your boy Kid Carter. We have the usdriftcircuit.com. I got with me Adam Ginkle. JJ Nyko. And coming up next, right here at Car Show Television.
Uh, my name is Jesus Garcia. Uh, this is a Roush, uh, 2011 Roush 5XR. Uh, it's got 525 horsepower from the factory after Roush got done with it. Uh, a little bit of work that I've done to it. It's got 610 to the rear, to the ground. Uh, they only made 120 of these cars, uh, one year production. This is number 11 off the lot. Uh, excellent car, fast car, smooth. Uh, Car, for being a sports car, it rides luxury and sporty at the same time. Wonderful car. Roush does an excellent job in his cars. Performance is, is phenomenal. Uh, like I said, uh, it's uh, you. It, it, the car is fast. It's like a rocket. It's got a. It's got the big 2300 supercharged from Roush. Um, like I said, it uh, with a little bit of work I did to it, I got 610 horsepower in the rear. Um, it's, uh, it's got the graphics, uh, the Roush wheels, the, Ra the Roush big uh, brake, uh, uh, six piston uh, brakes, uh, 20 inch wheels, massive, massive car, excellent. Uh, it's got 610 horsepower to the rear, to the ground. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fast car, fast car. I've, I've, I've been a Mustang owner all my life. Uh, my first Mustang, <laughs> believe it or not, I was 15 years old. Uh, uh, this is probably, I'm going to say, my 25th Mustang my whole life. I'm 45 now. Uh, but I will, I will have a Mustang all my life. Uh, as you can see, I got a tattoo with a horse and a Mustang. It's a Roush also. I'm a Roush, I'm a Roush lover and I always will be. It's, it's just an awesome car to have. A little background, I, I came from a place called the South Bronx. And a rough neighborhood. Uh, I barely had nothing. I moved to Florida. Uh, about 27 years ago, uh, changed my life. Uh, here you go, this is hard work right here. And, uh, and I will continue doing it. What's going on guys? We're live right here at the Bisbee.net meet, right here at Modified Toyota Sign. We are here representing US Drift Circuit. We have our event tomorrow, that's right, tomorrow at Sun Life Stadium, South Florida. Please come out. We've got gates opening at noon. I'm Harrison Carter. I got two of my drivers here. What's your name? Adam Ginkle. And what's your name? JJ Nyko. Now these two drive some of the sexiest sideways 240s and Nissans that you've ever seen. They're going to be getting loud. They're going to be getting crazy. They're going to be getting sideways. You guys both running tandem tomorrow? Yes, sir. Running tandem? I'm running solar class. He's running solar. So he's probably going to have the trophy. Got a lot of drivers coming in everywhere from Daytona North, Orlando. We got Miami. We got a few island boys shipping their cars over in crates right now for this event. Like I said, U.S. Drift Circuit, Sunlight Stadium. See us there tomorrow. Gates open at 10. Hit up usdriftcircuit.com for registration. We got braggingrights.net bringing out the car show. I'm Kid Carter. See you guys there. US Drift Circuit Live, Sunlight Stadium tomorrow. That's right, Sunday, tomorrow, noon, gates open. Be there. Sheldon Tran from 
from Coral Springs, Florida, and this is my Honda S2000. Uh, started out with an aggressive look for the car. Uh, I plan to track it soon. Um, a lot of parts are rare parts from Japan, so hard to get. Started a crew Fortune Mines, basically a group of friends with cars, I guess. Mostly Japanese cars. I mean, the cars behind me here are part of the crew. What's going on, world? It's Rich. I drive that green car, it's an Acker RSX. You know, I love my crew, I love cars, I love everything, I love life. Hi, I'm Max, Max Whitmore. Um, my car is not here with my other car, I got my older car here. Pretty much I work on most of the cars anyway, not all of them, but anything they need from tires, stretching it, flipping it, I do it all. Uh, I'm a mechanic at Nissan, so. Sean, I drive the TL with uh, a lot of camber in the rear. Um, I love Fortune Mines, we're all family here, and I love being part of them. Okay, uh, my name is Jesse Edmund, I drive the blue uh, IS250 back there, uh, custom color. Uh, Hello, uh, my name is Kevin Ng, I got a white Acura TSX over there. Hi, I'm Simone, I have the 2013 Sentra on Hello Kitty wheels. It's great to be a part of the Fortune Mines family, it's awesome. I got two of my drifters here. I have JJ Niger. and I have Adam Mirkle. and we are here to tell you a little bit about drifting. This is where we get some sexy cars. We get them sideways. We get them low to the ground, low clearance, all, all modified. We have cages inside. We've got all the safety, all the speed. We get crazy sideways, a lot of smoke, a lot of tire rub, tandem side by side, inches away. It's all about control. It's not about speed. Not that cliche. If you're out of control, you're in control. We're in control the whole time because we're doing it right. US Drift Circuit, we're gonna be live at Sun Life Stadium. Come out and see us, gates open at noon. Don't forget, hit me up, hit usdc.com. That's usdriftcircuit.com. Thanks for watching, Car Show Television.